Let's look at solving a quadratic equation. For example, let's solve this equation here for x. Now, in solving quadratic equations, it's useful to have 0 on one side and see if we can factor the other. Well, here we already have 0 on the right, so let's see if we can factor the left-hand side, which we can. It factors into x plus 5 times x minus 1. And now we can use the fact that if we have a product of factors equal to 0, then either the first factor is equal to 0 or the second factor is equal to 0, or both. So let's use that here. So we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means either the first factor, x plus 5, is equal to 0, or the second factor, x minus 1, is equal to 0, which means x is equal to negative 5 or x is equal to 1, which would be our answers. All right, let's look at another example. Let's solve this equation for y. Now, this is a bit different from the first example in that we don't already have 0 on the right-hand side. So let's start off by bringing the 3 to the left-hand side, which gives us 2y squared plus 5y minus 3 is equal to 0. And now we have 0 on the right-hand side. So let's see if we can factor the left-hand side here. And we can. It factors into 2y minus 1 times y plus 3. And again, we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means either the first factor, 2y minus 1, is equal to 0, or the second factor, y plus 3, is equal to 0. And then adding 1 and dividing by 2 gives us that y is equal to 1 half, or subtracting 3 gives us that y is equal to negative 3, which would be our answer. So this is how we solve this type of quadratic equation. We get 0 on one side and factor the other. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.